Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, welcome to you all uh, to the fifth edition of the Economic Times Startup Awards. I'm pleased to share with you that in a little while from now, Honorable Ministers Sri Ravi Shankar Prasad and Sri Piyush Goel will be joining us. In the meantime, let us start with our business agenda for the evening. <clears throat> for me, there are two major trends that stand out in the past year or so. One is the fact that startups are more and more disrupting traditional industries. This has always been what they are supposed to do, but the pace has now picked up substantially. This is evident <clears throat> from the range of industries, uh, be it hospital, hospitality, taxi services, or restaurants. Concomitant, uh, concomitant with this is that technology-enabled companies which started their lives as apps are increasingly venturing offline. They are doing so by leasing hotels, leasing vehicles for users' taxis, or setting up cloud kitchens. The other trend is that interest from investors in private space continues despite choppy public markets. SoftBank is in the midst of raising a second $100 billion vision fund and remains bullish on India. New foreign investors are backing startups founded by many second-time entrepreneurs at rich valuations. This seemingly reflects the buoyancy Indian startups have from the long-term perspective despite the short-term slowdown in public markets. Last year, was quite exciting for the nation's startup ecosystem. We saw significant activity from various stakeholders, domestic and global. While Walmart acquired Flipkart in 2018, a new crop of internet unicorns have emerged. Investors' interest in Indian startups is at an all-time high. Companies such as Oyo, Baiju, Swiggy, Freshworks, Policy Bazaar, and Buildesk have joined the Unicorn League. This trend continues in 2019 with Delivery and Dream 11 joining the big league too. Valuations of young companies have zoomed and investors are betting on seasoned professionals and second time founders of idea stage startups to cut big checks. According to Traction, which tracks the startup industry in India, money poured into Indian startups increased 30% to $4.7 billion in the first six months of 2019, compared to the same period last year. Economic Times has always been at the forefront in covering the startup space. With our marquee ET Startup Awards now in its fifth edition, we look forward to continuing to recognize the best in the industry bring together different stakeholders and foster debates, conversations, and act actions on the important issues in this dynamic environment. <clears throat> Tonight, we gather here to felicitate the winners of the Economic Times Startup Awards 2019 across eight categories. On behalf of Times Group, I would like to congratulate all the winners of 2019. I also want to thank are jury members who deliberated across various contenders to arrive at these winners. Last but not the least, a special thanks to our sponsors and to the audience in this room. Your presence here tonight is a testimony to the crucial need of rewarding the best startups who are brightest examples of entrepreneurial zeal that is redefining corporate India. It is my hope that through, these, uh, through the Economic Times initiative, more individuals and businesses will be motivated to attempt <clears throat> the unthinkable and propel our nation towards economic and social progress powered by innovation, entrepreneurial energy, risk-taking ability, and risk-taking ability of our youth. Thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the evening.